Okay, so here we have a scrum um, following a, a, a decision a knock on actually from uh, Worcester, following some good play for myself. We've got a penalty. Uh, it was great to see, obviously, Petrus uh, back in the side, obviously, alongside young Jamie George, captaining and doing a great job. Alongside the veteran John Smith, you know, to have some of the under caps to your left side and to, uh, to lead the team. It's great for Jamie for in terms of experience and obviously very good from uh, from John to sort of stand aside in that capacity. So great line out. Jamie threw really well throughout the game. Uh, Eon Sheriff there winning the ball at the back of the line out and a great drive from the guys here. We we felt we had them uh, at drive time and uh, certainly we can see Worcester come in from the side sacking illegally, etc. And uh, the, the score was coming. It was coming, but then we see little Vern Troy there ducking in, nicking the ball from the forwards and uh, scoring a try. He looks like he's about 300 metres away, but he's not. He's actually standing right next to Jackson Ray. He's just tiny, really small. So everyone's patting him on the head like he's a little leprechaun and hoping we get some luck for him. So here we go anyway. Uh, steel, line out steel. Pete just moving the ball to uh, Luke Ball when he's on at this stage. Adam Powell, great pass across there. Ben Ransom. Good to see a lot of these young guys getting their opportunity. Uh, just about moved the ball. Brilliant clean out there from Scott Sperling. Um, who had a magnificent sort of 15 20 minutes when he came on in terms of ball in hand. And again, we see a carry here this time from uh, Scott, powering his way through two tackles. He's worked hard on his power and strength with the uh, SNC with Phil the Butcher Morrow of late, and certainly shown that power there. Then to probably the man of the match, Justin Melk, who was superb, 21 tackles in the game. Um, the way he carried the ball was excellent for the team. His leadership skills on the pitch as well was brilliant to see uh, Justin out there and perform to such a high standard. And then even more so now, straight away from the restart, we managed to get the ball a little bit scrappy, but uh, as is our way, we take patience and time and composure to try and play our way out of our own half, the Saracens way, the way that we play the game to win rugby games. And here we see Luke Baldwin uh, with a great kick and uh, Duncan Taylor, the Dragon, um, who was obviously man of the match in the day. Great chase, Adam Powell, brilliant pressure. And there he is, Joel Tonkinson, just getting over for his first try of the game. Uh, so great score there for Joel. Great to see the big man out there in the pitch. And obviously you can see how well received he is with the rest of the boys. And Michael Taji Thakabao there. Uh, obviously great to see him back out on the pitch as well. So it was really pleasing. We had a lot of substitutes on at this stage. And uh, it was great to see them integrate so quickly into a side with limited preparation last week. And uh, some old stages out there as well. Hugh Vivian, obviously. Uh, coming back into the setup uh, of these weeks with Steve being injured and uh, etc. So it's great to see them. And then we see again Joel, great hands from the balls on the inside, a lovely finish there. Uh, difficult that with the defender coming across on the inside. But Mike's to ground the ball and score his second try of the game, which is a great way to kickstart his rugby union career. Uh, to finish off with, uh, obviously a, a fifth try, which is superb. Tom Job winning the ball there, Hugh Vivian, uh, John Smith, Luke Baldwin. Never have so many gingers been in a Saracens outfit before. Um, it's just something about quality, but it's great to see, and it's great to see this line out drive. Again, Scott Spurling heavily involved, lifting the back of the line out in a role um, unaccustomed to him, but certainly helping us give us a stable platform and getting that try we just deserved without having a little bit of string or uh, picking the ball from us. And there we see Nathan Earl, number 22, just coming on there with a pretty dandy haircut, and uh, he's certainly feeling pretty inspired to be part of Saracen. So, a great win, 41 14. Uh, great for these guys to uh, get the opportunity to play in the first team. And uh, thank you for your support. We look forward to seeing you on Friday.